So you pulled Ainz or you want to know about this character. So let's talk about it right now. Ainz is a dark demon unit with a 6 star magic slot, 5 star support slot, and a 4 star support slash heal slot. He has a 12 second CT skill with 2500% dark damage magic and for 10 seconds reduces enemies magic res by 20%. Which is a alright team wide buff I guess. But let's move on to the arts. He has 20 thousand percent dark damage magic and a hundred percent chance of inflicting burn so um i didn't know that after i read the kit but apparently he does a hundred percent burn if the enemy is burned by this art for 15 seconds reduce burned enemies fire res and dark res by 40 percent this is a fine art but however if you guys didn't know if you do many bosses and you farm a lot of stuff many bosses have status element resistance for the higher ups and stuff like that so this isn't amazing but it is something to note that if it requires a burn for some bosses, this is good. This is this is actually good. For the true arts, we have 50,000% dark damage magic. And for 20 seconds, increase allies art gen by 4 per second. And for demon allies, increase art gauge by 6 instead. And for 25 seconds, reduce enemies crit res by 100%. As for the super arts, he has 150,000% dark damage magic which is really high and for 15 seconds increase all allies crit damage by a hundred percent and increase dark allies crit damage by 200 percent instead so he increases his own crit damage by 200 percent and whoever is a dark unit in the team increase theirs as well to 200 percent which that 200 percent is amazing we have a few passives for him as well which gives him magic damage 10 percent up all allies crit rate 20% up only once and his own passive that auto fills arc gauge by 5 when HP is 80% or more. So if you keep this unit at a good amount of HP, like if you're, for example, if you're using hard or something like that, he constantly gets Argent, which is nuts. And another one, which is unlocked until you get reach level 100, is magic resistance level 4, which does magic damage resistance from enemies by 20%. But how is this unit? What does this unit do and what's his job? Mine's is a damage support that provides a good amount of argin and crit damage to the whole team with the benefit of the crit risk down and he allows your team to achieve 200% crit rate and a 100% crit res up buff which is really really good but other than that i have made a team comp which i'm going to be using against the training battle using this team right here sadly i do not have draken so i kind of can't buff him up as much but for you guys who have draken you guys can use him and buff him up so much more but let's take a look at what i can do with this team right here okay so we're gonna be using all these equips i'm gonna show you what i do okay we're gonna be using all these equips right here making everyone do their thing and then do this Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you see that right there? And then we're going to be doing this. To do the other extra damage right here. So now, let's see how much damage I did with him being the team leader as well. Because if you're using Narborol, Narborol buffs the leader. So... Let's see what he did. Eins with almost 9 million damage. So that's crazy. <laughs> that's a little bit insane. But yeah, that's that's how good he can be if you use him as a nuker. In the end, is he worth summoning for? Yes, he is. He is a really, really good unit. Is it worth pitying? No. Do not go pity on this character if you do not have enough gems or if you're in free to play. One someone will be enough because he is not a must have. Try to go for Star Galiza again. I'm saying it in every one of my videos. Do not miss Star Galiza.
So yeah, that will be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.